We've got a huge weekend ahead of us, Mark. Obviously, we're <laughs> welcoming Cheltenham here on Saturday afternoon. Um, but then we've got our history tour, uh, Men United versus Prostate Cancer, uh, day on Sunday, all day. I want to say all day, it is all day, isn't it? It is all day, it's going to be a long day. Um, we, we set ourselves these tasks from time to time. Um, there is, as we've just been discussing, a huge amount going on in town, but when it comes to the world of a football club, there are very few opportunities we have to put something together like this. And with it being an international break and no championship or premiership games, um, we, we've chosen this uh, as an opportunity to uh, put something out into the uh, into the local region for the town, for the football club, uh, for our partners who are travelling over from Shanghai. And this really was the only opportunity that we had to do it. So, so, so if you haven't heard, if there's somebody out there that hasn't heard what's happening, what is happening? What we've got is we've uh, we've put together um, three teams. Um, there's the MFC Legends 11 um, guys, predominantly from the 95 promotion and the 2007 promotion squads. Um, a celebrity 11 that's been uh, very, very kindly managed by uh, a good friend of ours, Sam Allardyce, who's coming up. Um, we've put together uh, quite a few stars of ex-premiership internationals and a few TV personalities. And then we've got our partners from Shanghai coming over um, to uh, cement the collaboration between um, not only two, um, the two clubs, um, the two chairmen, the two clubs, but also uh, our two respective uh, Places where we uh, where we operate, being Morecambe with a, uh, I I'm, I'm not quite sure what the uh, the population is these days, but it'd be around 50,000. And then we're now um, got a collaboration with Shanghai of about 25 million, I think, at the moment, <laughs> second largest city in the world. Well, we're not going to be man marking them now. Are we? Um, I don't think we'll be man marking them now. No. So there's lots going on during the day. There's, yeah. there's, there's three matches that are going to be played, yeah. and there's yeah. going to be entertainment in between. That's right. It's going to be a That's real right. family day. It is a real family day, and you know we've 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 gone out into the into the local uh, area and 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 spoken to more music coming down here, which I think everybody in the town will be aware of what they do. Um, the Morecambe Warblers are coming to have a. Uh, I'm going to give us a rendition of some very, very famous uh, songs. We've got uh, Laura's Leisure are coming in and putting bouncy castles and soft play areas, and there's uh, candy floss machines, there's ice cream vans, hot dog stalls. There's, there's a, it's, a, it's a real family day um, because we understand that people are, are being expected to come from 12 o'clock and, and stay till the presentation, which will happen around 6 o'clock. So it's a fairly, it's a, it's a long day. Fingers crossed the weather's looking good as well. The weather is looking good, but uh, I think I've discussed with you, it would be my birthday weekend as well. It usually is quite nice, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're being, it looks like everything's set fair. We've got Bay Radio here as well. Bay Radio, uh, the media, our media partner, have, have been a huge help to us. Hopefully the people have been listening to the competitions that are out there for mascots and Danny Matthews is going to be here all day, um, emceeing to a point, just making sure that everybody knows what's going on. Um, Clive Lee, I believe, they're running the um, the broadcast from 12 till 4 from here. So there's a massive amount. We've taken a massive amount on, but it's something that we uh, we enjoy. So tell me about Shanghai Clever and Fanji Hai. Fanji Hai was the first Chinese national player to uh, to play in the English Premier League. And he made his debut for Crystal Palace on the uh, 16th of September 1998, playing a League Cup game against Berry. Um, he's a, just a huge, huge celebrity um, in China. I would say he's on, he's on the par of being like David Beckham. I think, I think, there's, a, I think there's a lot of that is um, a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but uh, this, uh, especially the, if people then say, well, Fan Ji Hai is a footballer and David Beckham is a footballer, it's two completely different entities. I think what, where it's coming from is that Fan can't go anywhere in Shanghai. Celebrity status. Just celebrity yeah. status yeah. is just huge. It's yeah. just massive. You get, he just gets mobbed everywhere yeah. he goes. Um, but he's a great guy. He's a very, very knowledgeable football man. Um, loves his football. Is interested at every level. I uh, know when he was over here in March, he took a huge amount of interest in our youth development uh, at development centre. So from eight, he spent a lot of time uh, watching. This is the, this is what they want to replicate. They don't have anything, anything anywhere near. And you think of. The, the, the way that their, their uh, economy and everything else is growing, they're, they're a little bit behind the uh, curve as far as development in football. But it's a great honour then that they chose Morecambe as, as the first match. 
it, it's a it's a huge honour. It's a massive, massive honour, and, and it, 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 it it's very, very difficult to put it into uh, you know express it clearly as to this team uh, from a, a, a city of, of 24 million people. It was it's only it's very it's very young as a as a club. Um, they're building a, a, a fantastic state-of-the-art facility uh, over in Shanghai that it's going to incorporate everything that we do here. Um, Mr. Yan and, and Peter McGuigan, the two chairmen, have got this ethos of football and, and the way that it's not just about what goes on in the 90 minutes on the pitch, it's everything, everything before, the youth development, nutrition, well-being, team ethic, everything, it's, they've got a real... Um, they, they understand where each other's coming from and, and Mr. Yan wants to replicate, of course it'll be in a, a much larger scale, but he wants to replicate everything that we've got here in Shanghai. And we're making history. It's a, it is a, it, that again, it's very difficult to express clearly and eloquently as to what it means to have, uh, be involved as a, as a football league club in, uh, in England um, to be involved in something like uh, the first Chinese investment in a football league club, the first twinning, if that's the right way of putting it. Again, not putting it very eloquently, but it, again, the partnership, the collaboration between two places that, in everything else, are worlds apart, absolute worlds apart, but they've been brought together in the common goal of football, youth development, well-being, nutri everything that, that, that's great about our game. Tell us about the timings and the prices. Um, the doors open at 12.30. Um, the first game, Morecambe against Shanghai, the history part of the day, is at one o'clock kickoff. Okay. Then you've got uh, the Celebrity 11 managed by Sam Allardyce against Morecambe's Legends 11 at three o'clock. And then the final game on the day is Shanghai Clever 11 against the Celebrity 11 at five o'clock. That's a full day's entertainment. It is a full day's entertainment with Things going on in between, Mark. As you yeah. know, we've talked about it. More music are here. Uh, Mock and Warblers are here. We've got a, a Chinese dragon, a 20 metre long Chinese dragon, which you'll never have been seen in Morecambe before. It's a huge thing. Uh, we've got Laura's Leisure are coming and doing a, a bouncy castle, soft play area. So if, if the thing is that people, we understand that people with the children, it's a long day. They can, it's a day pass. So basically, but you come in and you can go back out. There'll be uh, you'll be free to move around the area you can go the kids can go and enjoy themselves at the back there's uh, candy floss machines ice cream vans hot dogs there's, there's all there's all manner of things going to be in and around the uh, globe arena on that day is it true you've arranged a flyover by two lancaster bombers <laughs> well if it happens it happens but uh, I, I, I can't say i've organized that no so what are the prices then the prices are from uh, uh, adults uh, 10 pounds uh, standing 12 pound seating concessions um, at seven pounds standing, children three, and then uh, juniors three, sorry, children one, but we do have some family packages as well for two adults and two kids, two adults and one, one and two. There's, there's all, all manner of things. I think it's important this moment as well to reiterate that this is about raising awareness and money for prostate I think, cancer. I think, yeah, when we've put, when we've, when we, we put the, there are, there are costs involved, it's one, it's one of those things, but we have been mindful that it's to put on a show, put on something that the town will be proud of, uh, not just the football club, it is about our community, it's about our region, we need, we, uh, but it's about raising awareness of a, of a, a, a very worthy cause uh, in prostate cancer. It is the Football League's charity partner, it's something that we're very, very aware of. We're getting inquiries from all over the place about what's going on. When you've got celebrities, the likes of it, as far as footballers are concerned, Lee Sharp, Clayton Backmore, Trevor, Trevor Sinclair, Luther Blissett, Darren Peacock, um, oh dear, Matt Janssen, Ben Thornley, David May, Lee Martin. These guys were all internationals. They all played in the, in the Premier level. Forget them. Who's playing for Morecambe? I know, I know. Oh God, we've got some names. I, I can't wait to see Paul Burns, Dave McKerney, Ian Kane, Johnny Norman, Justin Jackson. He's more like it. Danny Carlton. He's coming out of uh, coming out of retirement for the day. Wayne Curtis. Wayne Curtis. Uh, Neil Sorvel. Michael Howard. Um, we've got our own Simon Farnworth. He's going to be uh, donning the gloves again. Lee Jones. Gary Hunter. Um, there's a couple of others. Might be. There's a couple of surprises yet. We've just got to confirm 
uh, one or two. There's, I know we spoke about one especially earlier. I'll be I'm very excited if that comes off. It'll be fantastic to see that lad on the uh, on the pitch here again because he was just, you know, he's just some just a little bit special as far as Morecambe Football Club is concerned with what he can do. Well, speaking of special, let's hope it's a special day. Let's hope uh, everyone turns out supports it. I can't wait personally, so uh, good luck with it. I just ask everybody, you know, all Morecambe fans, it's not just about Morecambe fans, Morecambe people, to to embrace it. Uh, come and enjoy the day with us. We'll show you, a, we'll put on a great show. Everybody who's coming here is coming here and giving their time for the charity. But as a football fan, it'll be fantastic. You've still got, you've got Lewis Bluer from Towie, you've got Jeff, Jeff Brazier, I'm a celebrity, Anthony Hutton who won Celebrity Big Brother, Christian Malcolm, the Olympian, the sprinter, Jay Dernbach, the cricketer. These guys are all coming to Morecambe for the day. Uh, and that is a great honour for us. And we just, uh, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to ask all Morecambe uh, and district to come and, uh, come and support them and come and spend some time with them. Good luck, Matt. Thank you.